easy four ingredient peppermint bark. For this recipe, you need chocolate almond bark or candy coating, depending on where you buy it. It's called different things. You can also use a package of chocolate chips if you want. I like the candy coatings because they have this nice little container that I can just microwave and I don't have to dirty a bowl. Stir your candy coating to make sure that it's all melted. You're gonna put one cap full of peppermint extract, stir it into your chocolate, then you're gonna pour your chocolate on your cookie sheet. Then you're gonna spread it on your cookie sheet really thin. Then you're gonna set this in the freezer and let it harden. While you're waiting for your chocolate to get hard, put your peppermint candies in a zip top bag and smash them. Then for your second layer, you're gonna take your white chocolate or your white bark Stir in one capful of peppermint flavoring. Then you're gonna pour for your next layer. Spread it all around. Then take your crushed up peppermints, sprinkle them on top. Then put this in the freezer or let it set up until it's hardened. Then you're gonna break it into pieces. and enjoy. Easy two ingredient cherry bark. You're going to melt white almond bark. These are great because they come with a little handy microwave tray that you can just do it right in here. Sometimes white chips are cheaper than the almond bark. So if so, you can just pour those in a measuring cup, melt those down, stir your candy coating to make sure that it's all melted. Then you're gonna pour your almond bark and you're gonna spread it around on your sheet. Then you're gonna take chopped cherries and put them all over. Then you're gonna put this in the freezer or you can let it sit on the counter until it gets hard. Then you're going to break into pieces and enjoy. Easy Christmas sunshine bark. You're gonna take your lemon drops and smash them with a hammer. Stir your candy coating to make sure that it's all melted. I like to add a capful of lemon flavoring, but you don't have to. Stir it around. People don't use lemon flavoring that often, so if you wanna just use the lemon drops, that's totally fine. Then you're gonna pour your almond bark Spread it all over your cookie sheet, fairly thin. Then you're going to sprinkle your lemon drops all over the top and lightly press down. Then put this in the freezer or let it set up until it's hardened. Then you're going to break into pieces and enjoy. If you want to eat better and spend less, please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook. Go to livingonadime.com. This recipe is in the link in the description below.